heritage of Alaska. Brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska. Here is your host, Elmer Rasmussen. Alaskans have one distinction known the world around. They are very art conscious. There are probably more original pieces of art in Alaskan homes, oil painting, tempera, watercolor, woodblock, lithograph, and other techniques than you will find in comparable homes most anywhere in the world. And one of Alaskan's favorite artists is Fred Mokotan. And because Fred's fame is spreading farther and farther, I thought you might like to know him better. Fred Mokotan's paintings are the kind that are noticed. They are realistic, they're bold, they're alive, and they have the touch of a master. They are the result of 30 years' personal knowledge of life in the far north, combined with a mastery of the techniques of painting. Take the painting that was picked out by President Johnson when he was in Anchorage. It was a typical Alaskan subject, a dog team against a mountain. But it was a dog team with a difference, a dog team of such movement and such bold but controlled strokes that you felt yourself a part of the action. Fred uses the techniques of the old masters in his painting. He starts with an underpainting of the general composition, then adds layer after layer of transparent oil color. Each color must dry thoroughly before the next layer is put on. This gives a translucence, a depth of color you don't get with the opaque technique. With this technique, your paintings last forever, Fred explained. Artist Makatan is a native of Kenton, Ohio. He has a master's degree in fine arts from Ohio State. But in 1935, nobody was buying art for art's sake. So Fred accepted an invitation from his uncle Traeger at Unilakli to come to Alaska for six weeks. Fred became so enamored with the Arctic and Alaska in general that he stayed for two years. Sketches, drawings, and paintings he made endlessly. And when he returned to the lower 48, he wrote and illustrated his first book, Panic, Eskimo Sled Dog. This was followed by On Arctic Ice. Fred met Sarah in 1946 while she was on a vacation tour of Alaska. He didn't give her a chance to go back outside. They were married at Unalakleet and took their honeymoon trip by dog sled. Sarah wrote a book about this unique experience. It is called Where Else But Alaska. Since then, Sarah has written five more books, all illustrated by artist Makatan. Fred and Sarah Makatan have an ideal artist-writer home. It is on top of a high ridge just south of Palmer. In fact, it is called High Ridge. All of Alaska is Fred's painting province. His southeastern subjects are just as popular as his Arctic paintings. Recently, he has received numerous commissions for historic ships. It started with a large painting of Captain Cook's flagship, the HMS Resolution, which Wally Hickel ordered for the Captain Cook Hotel. Though Fred's paintings have what his friends call the Makatan look, you can always tell his style. Fred refuses to duplicate any of his paintings. It is against my principles to dash off a painting for a quick sale, Fred told me. Every painting is as perfect as I can make it. Makatan's work is so highly regarded that the University of Alaska in 1963 appointed him the school's first distinguished associate in art. I deem it an honor to salute Fred Makatan on this program as a distinguished artist of Alaska. The Heritage of Alaska has been brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska, your statewide banking institution with 21 locations to serve you. Be with Elmer Rasmussen again next week at this same time when he relates another story in The Heritage of Alaska.